Guys, I hope you're well. It's Dan here, as always, with another What We Know So Far video. It's, of course, a series where I take a look at upcoming titles, look at all the information, facts, leaks, rumors, and bring it all to you so you can make your own informed decision. Today, we're looking at Bioshock 4, so the sequel to three of the, the most outstanding games, in my opinion, Bioshock series. It's been around for years now. We haven't had a game in, what is it, six years, I believe. I don't, correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while since we last saw a Bioshock game. But I'm here today, guys, to confirm to you that they are indeed working on a Bioshock 4. That is confirmation, okay? That is confirmed from 2K themselves. I'll leave the press release down below. They did a press release back last year in December. They said, 2K today announced the founding of Cloud Chamber, the newest wholly owned game development studio under the company's publishing label. A collective of storytellers eager to push the front lines of interactive entertainment by making unique, entertaining and thoughtful experiences that engage the world, Cloud Chamber will build its team at two locations, San Francisco and Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And what does it say here, guys? It says they'll be working on the next iteration of the globally acclaimed Bioshock franchise. So, guys, that is confirmation right there that that game is currently being worked on. So, it gets me excited to see what they can come up with for Bioshock 4 for next gen. Of course, we don't know many concrete details at the moment about this game. All we know is they've been working on it for a while now. How long? Have they been working on it? Well, apparently the original Bioshock 4 development, it was codenamed Parkside back in 2015. That got scrapped. That got cancelled in 2016. Probably would have had that game by now. This current version, apparently, according to Kotaku, uh, says that it's been worked on since 2017. So, and I know uh, uh, for a fact that a lot of PS5 titles started around the end of 2017 in terms of development so you know that seems very plausible now what will it be about it probably will be a new direction I don't think it'll be a direct sequel to Infinite I think that DLC I remember Burial at Sea sort of wrapped up the loose ends of the story if you guys remember I don't want to spoil it if any of you haven't played it but it sort of sort of wrapped things up so we'll see what happens there but yeah, they've been working on it for a while, I believe. So when will we see the game? Look, look, I went digging for you guys, as I always do. Now, IGN are doing their own E3. As you know, E3 is done. Not done, but done for this year. Won't be happening now. IGN are doing their own live stream, Games of Summer. Okay, now if you go type into YouTube, YouTube uh, IGN Games of Summer, you'll see a thumbnail and some information where they'll be showing some 2K stuff. 2K will be presenting something on this live stream and we see a lot of imagery on IGN and including that thumbnail of Bioshock, of um, Big Daddy. So, I don't know, I just, I just feel like will we see a teaser trailer? It's very likely. I think a teaser trailer for Bioshock 4 to get us pumped up for that next gen and, and get that hype train started seems very plausible, especially if they have been working on this game since 2017. So I'm thinking we will see something this year. Uh, uh, you know, I, I think that about a lot of games, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, it, it's also highly likely we don't see anything as well, so don't quote me on this but I just I've just got a feeling that they might release something because as I said 2k are going to be at this on this live stream for IGN and I'm thinking what else are they actually going to show besides their staples you know WWE and NBA and um, you know XCOM they've got a few other t uh, franchises you know that, that's not that exciting we want to see something a bit more exciting so I think that, that, that's pretty plausible. Guys, of course, Ken Levine, creative director from Bioshock 1 and Infinite, won't be involved in this title. He, he's he been going off and doing his own stuff. It will be a shooter. Don't worry, guys. It'll be a shooter with a powerful narrative to go along it. But apparently they will be mixing things up. Whatever that is, we don't know. So, look, they have to mix things up anyway. It's, it's an... You can't just keep going with the same formula every single game. You need to mix things up. Even Call of Duty 
Yes, it's a shooter. Yes, it's very similar year on year. They do mix things up. If you compare Call of Duty, I guess, from this year to, I don't know, five years ago, there is significant differences in my opinion. So they're going to be mixing things up. As always, guys, I want to know what you guys think. What do you want to see in Bioshock 4? Give me some cool, interesting ideas. You guys gave me a lot of cool stuff for Batman. What you want to see in that sequel. You gave me some really interesting ideas for Assassin's Creed. Uh, the new game there so i want to see give me some of those more juicy ideas it really gets the the uh mind ticking but guys thanks as always if you want to see more of this series i'll leave a playlist down below and you can take a look at all the games i've covered so far so thanks guys and i'll talk to you soon <laughs>